Western Europe. This is where the Reformation was unleashed. This is where the doctrines of grace exploded into the public arena. This is where revival after glorious revival broke out. And it's from here that bold, daring, global gospel expansion was launched. But that was back then. What about now? Well, for all of its religious and cultural diversity, spiritually speaking, Western Europe is a dark and cold place. Church attendance is declining at an alarming rate. Secularism speaks with a far louder voice and exercises a far greater influence in the gospel. Now, Western Europe is a context of pressing need, massive opportunities, and unique strategic significance. We're planting a church in Shepherd's Bush in West Central London. 10,000 people live here, connected to the 10 million that live across the city of London. It is incredibly diverse, and with all of that diversity, there is huge gospel need. 60 million Italians, 10% maybe church girls, 1% uh, would define themselves as Bible-believing, born-again Christians. A country in crisis, and you can tell that by the fact that 150,000 fortune-tellers exist and only 50,000 priests. Western Europe is also a place of stories. Stories of hope, encouragement and inspiration. Stories of churches turning to prayerful action rather than being daunted by overwhelming need. Stories of God's people being willing to move forward rather than to sit tight, to take risks rather than to play it safe. In short, stories of the Holy Spirit at work. I pastor a church of 150 people. We've planted one church in the last five years. We're currently planting two others. In November 2009, we replanted a small, struggling brethren church here in Liverpool. They had about 12 people. And by God's grace, we brought a team of 15. And since that time, we've seen many people come to Christ. God is graciously using this network to raise up leaders who will take the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ into the suffocating darkness of our continent. We're a growing partnership of men who want to take the responsibility and seize the opportunity to lead churches and plant more churches. Men who want to stand shoulder to shoulder in the gospel, for the gospel, and all for the fame of Jesus. Acts 29 Western Europe has been nothing but a blessing uh, to me and to the gospel advance here in, in our city of Liverpool. It's given me a new hope and joy in the gospel and given me a lot of crazy brothers with great hearts. Our vision is to equip these men for mission. And we do that through assessment, coaching, training and support. Assessment is an expansive and an intensive process by which we help the potential planter identify their gifts, celebrate their strengths, know what their weaknesses are and undertake due diligence for the task of church planting. Coaching is a resource that ensures that every member has someone on hand to help them to think through the issues and to navigate the problems to planting a gospel church in the real world. Because church planting is a profoundly theological endeavour, those that go into it need to be equipped to be able to work from first principles to action, to answer deep and real pressing questions, and to devise a coherent gospel-centred strategy. Like training, support isn't something that you need at the beginning and then you outgrow. As a network, we are committed to supporting each other in whatever way is necessary and in any way possible so that we see the gospel advance through churches being planted all around our region. The two major strengths of being part of Acts 29 for me uh, have been the assessment at the beginning and the ongoing support of like-minded brothers which proves invaluable. Acts 29 has helped us as we've been assessed, Rachel and myself, and greatly encouraged by the network. We want to bring this network to France to encourage other church planters you can help us to take some of these opportunities. You can partner with us through prayer, through finance, and through sending people. But because of the nature of the gospel, this partnership will not only help us to make an impact for the gospel here, 
you'll also see that it helps you to make an impact for the gospel where you are.